Just what is not on the menu in 1979? For starters, we followed health department inspectors on a routine check of Joe's Stone Crab's restaurant at 227 Biscayne Street on Miami Beach. We asked for and received permission from owner Irwin Saywitz to accompany health inspectors Charlie Alexander and Ed Maltzman on their check. On the plus side, Alexander found Joe's walk-in freezers to be clean with food stored properly. Ditto for Joe's walk-in refrigerators. They were clean, food was covered, and kept off the floor. Inspectors did find a rusty set of shelves and ordered them replaced. Also good was Joe's storage of pots and pans upside down to prevent dust contamination. Term very good were Joe's restrooms and its bar area. But things were by no means all good. An ice cream freezer was termed filthy with a slimy green buildup between the doors, threatening to contaminate the ice cream below. A salad cooler was very dirty in the hard to get at areas over the fan. Toxic materials were stored too close to paper food containers. Most serious, though, were Joe's red violations. Its supposedly clean dishes were found by Alexander to be filthy, apparently because the dishes were not being pre-washed properly. Joe's garbage area was not clean enough, and a malfunctioning air curtain was drawing air from the garbage area in instead of pushing it out, resulting in too many flies in the kitchen. The problem with the clean is a human problem. To stand in the middle of the kitchen and to look around, the tops and the sides of their equipment is very clean. But if you get down on your knees and look underneath the shelving and underneath the other uh, pieces of equipment, you will find uh, scum and uh, grease buildup, which does need a good thorough cleaning. The fly problem is because the flies do transmit disease to the human. The uh, garbage problem is that the garbage draws the flies to the restaurant because the flies are drawn to odor. And the dishwashing problem is because the dishes are dirty and you're eating the food from a plate that someone else has eaten priorly. How would you rate Joe Stone Crabs? Poor. Joe's Stone Crabs was given time to correct its violations, and on our next report, we'll see how the restaurant fared on the health department's re-inspection. Bob Mayer, Channel 4 News. On Wednesday, we showed a report showing the initial health department inspection of Joe's Stone Crab restaurant at 227 Biscayne Street on Miami Beach. Its sanitation rating after that inspection, poor. Tonight, you'll see what Joe's looked like during its re-inspection. It is during this kind of check that a restaurant is usually asked to close if its health hazards have not been eliminated. On its initial check, Joe's Stone Crabs had three red or major violations. A bad garbage area, a fly infestation due to a malfunctioning air curtain which was drawing the flies in rather than pushing them out, and supposedly clean dishes that were termed filthy. The problem here was that old food was being left on the dishes as they went into the dishwasher. The machine then clogged up, overflowed, and couldn't clean the dishes. In addition, Joe's was in need of a good general cleaning. Grease or filth buildups were found on an ice cream cooler, in a salad cooler, and on the underneath sides of virtually all kitchen shelves. Joe's looked quite a bit different on its recheck. The garbage area has been cleaned up and the dumpsters kept closed. The bed air curtain has been shut off, thus eliminating the fly problem. As for the dishes, they were being pre-washed, but someone had turned off the hot water booster, a problem that was fixed on the spot. At the situation now is very good. They turned on the steam and the uh, temperature is up to 198 to 200 degrees and the dishes are very clean. The second time around, Joe's ice cream cooler was cleaned up and the dirt above the salad cooler removed. In general, all the hard-to-get-at places had been cleaned. General cleaning is excellent. Before when we were here, it appeared that someone didn't know how to bend their knees to look underneath some of the equipment, but they obviously found someone that could bend, and the uh, shelves, everything is in very good, tip-top shape. What's the overall sanitation rating of Joe's Stone Crabs now? The overall rating of Joe Stone Crabs today is excellent. Alexander added that it is particularly difficult to maintain an old establishment with old equipment, but that Joe's has done it. Bob Mayer, Channel 4 News.